the first time I encountered sewage pollution, I was, I was filming within the river. All of a sudden, the clarity of the water just diminished. I couldn't quite understand what was going on. It was like hitting a wall of muck. And I was unaware what this muck was. And it wasn't until I surfaced that I realised that muck was sewage. And I was in the middle of a sewage discharge. And by the time I'd got out, I was covered in human waste. I was covered in sanitary waste. It was vile. Years ago, the River Wharf in Victorian times was a very, very big swimming area. These days, very few people will actually swim in the river, to be quite honest. They've been getting stomach cramps, sickness, all sorts, literally from swimming in the river with the amount of sewage that's going in. So this is Weatherby Sewage Treatment Plant on my right hand side and to my left side is the scene of the crime where I've done plenty of filming of sewage discharges into the river and this is what's known as a CSO. The CSO Weatherby arrived about five minutes ago, there was just a trickle now and it's at full whack going straight into the river. What comes out of this is absolutely disgusting because it will at times contain everything that's flushed down the toilet from sanitary towels, condoms, wipes, literally everything goes into the river. Lower downstream we will have sewage fungus growing. The smell that comes from it is so distinctive you know immediately what it is because it is absolutely vile when i'm filming in the river i've got my dry suit on i have a full face mask i have dry gloves and i've got a hood on as well i would not get in this river unless i was wearing my equipment it's as simple as that just wouldn't yeah, I, I do think it's a sense of betrayal, to be quite honest, because government just seemed to be burying the heads. Quite honest, I, I felt extremely let down by the government, but there again, nothing surprises me. I do find it upsetting. Every English river is polluted. Only 14% of English rivers have a good ecological standard. In September 2000, a report from the Environment Agency, English rivers had 92% good health. The difference, we are going backwards instead of striving to go forwards, and we need to move forwards. The way that we're going on, if this carries on, our rivers will become ecologically dead. It's as simple as that. The river flies, which are like the, the, the main signal warning for, for the rivers, that, the little invertebrates. I am finding areas now that's literally void of life to 30. And slowly these rivers are dying. And the rivers are the arteries of the country. They've shaped many towns, villages and cities. And to see the demise of what should be a vibrant area. For me, I, I do, I find it extremely upsetting. We are literally destroying what's on our own doorstep. Water is life. We need it to survive. To me, this is our most precious resource and this is how we're treating it.
In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't, then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.